Hey folks, hope all good out there. So today we're going to be looking at blue shuffles. Blue shuffles are very really cool. Everybody's shuffling. And something you should definitely have your head around. Quite a few different blue shuffles. So what is a blue shuffle? Well, a blue shuffle is kind of a rhythmic device that's used for navigating across a, usually a 12 bar blues. All right. It's often eight notes in feel or triplets. Okay and it sort of drives the, the music forward and it follows the chord progression so that the shuffle will move from like the one chord to the four chord now when you first started playing guitar you probably learned this shuffle that's probably the simplest blues shuffle that's probably one of the first things i learned to play and then that kind of expanded to so the shuffles we're going to look at are all the ones at the start and they range from sort of easy ones to harder ones quite a lot of steve ray vaughan influences in there i, I like the way he plays his shuffles because he gives them quite a a very strong rhythmical vibe to them so we're going to go through all those shuffles all the tab for the shuffles are over on the patreon page just click on the link below lots of people signed up last week which was great and also check out the cross system video from last week which is uh, the full courses on patreon that's proven really popular as well the shuffle number one is like this <laughs> So you can kind of think of it as coming out the minor pentatonic box, if you want, of, of A. So this one's a dead simple one, okay? Um, but instead of trying to play it like this, which is a bit boring, you've got to kind of swing it like this. Try and get that rhythmical feel going on. Now, also, I'm muting it with the back of my hand a little bit here. Try it at different speeds. If you want to do it in D, do it here. We can make it more Stevie Ray Vaughan like this. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing the rhythm slightly different. Uh, she needs to get that vibe going on with the rhythm. I'm doing an up and down stroke, so alternate picking it. All right, and I'm also strumming other strings, strumming the E, the A, and the G string, but they're muted. So there they're muted and that one's ringing out if you go to my video on muting it will explain how to do that perfectly okay so that is shuffle number one so let's move on to shuffle number two so what i'm doing is a variation on shuffle number one so i'm just doing a little pull off chromatic thing seven six five right now when you're doing a pull off make sure that your fingers it's not lifting off i see this all the time right pull offs don't lift off they flick 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 okay obviously this bit here because i've got four notes in here has to be twice as fast as the other bit because these are eighth notes so you've got to play that bit twice as fast okay so that's uh shuffle number two shuffle number three is this so here I'm sliding from flat five into the five. Kind of maybe tweaking this flat seven a tiny bit. You'll also notice I'm accenting the flat seven. I'm really overdoing it there, so I'm going like mute, mute, accent, like that. 
can play around with the accent, put it in a different place, put it on the last note. You know, uh, accents are really cool. You know, songs, a lot of songs wouldn't sound like that they did without the accents. So play around with those accents. So the accent in, that little tiny tweak there kind of makes the shuffle what the shuffle is. So the next one's like a Kirk Fletcher inspired shuffle like this. So what I'm doing is that A13 chord, one of my favorite chords across the blues. Thumb on the A, flat seven, major third. 13 or the 6, mute in the A string, and then root, major 3rd, 5, flat 7. So I can just shift it over to the D if I want to do it on the D. Um, so that's got a very cool vibe to it as well. So let's move on to the next shuffle. So I'm playing the D chord there. So I'm barring across the seventh fret here. Put in A again. And I'm hammering on from this minor third to the major third, flat seven. And then sliding up into the A major triad. D. So I'm going from a D chord, D7, up to this chord. So this is a half diminished chord of the major third of the D, right? And it's kind of acting like what we call a D9 chord. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into that, but playing uh, minor 7 flat 5 chords off the major 3rd of dominant 7th chords is a very cool thing to do. Right, and then, uh, and then I go back to the main riff. Then I did this. So instead of doing the E chord, which would be there, I'm playing this. And again, it's the same deal as this. I'm playing uh, an A flat half diminished triad or A flat minus 7 flat 5 chord. I'm going walking down chromatically, right? Thinking of the D here. So I'm just coming off the major third of the E chord. Right, and again, this is acting as an E9 chord, a passing diminished chord. This is acting as a D9 chord. Then I'm back to... Okay, that's that one. Try with these shuffles to try and add in your own ideas, particularly like that one. I mean, the two... That I did after that that were similar ones that I just came up with just straight off the top of my head because um, I just played around with those ideas I and mean, when I might go so that straight off the top of my head you know it's um, a shuffle I've just created using that and then my one of my favorite lines yeah, so you can come up with lots of different shuffly ideas but one of the most important things to me when shuffling um, it's not to trip over. No, it's to get that kind of, I like that Stevie Ray Vaughan vibe, which is like, Jack'em, Jack'em, Jack'em. With that, that upstroke followed by the downstroke. Which is in things like, You know, things he does like that with that. Check him, check him. Yeah, now that just drives it to me. You know, I really like that drive. I think that's very cool. And, I, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan was definitely a big influence on my playing. So play around with those shuffles. Try some of your own shuffles and get shuffling.
Don't forget to like and subscribe, super important as always. Check out the Patreon page below. Lots of people signing up at the moment, so that's really cool. Lots of good stuff on there. You've got the full cross system on there. Check out the last video I did on YouTube because that introduces that. And I'm having lots of really positive comments about the cross system. Lots of guys being able to start chord tone soloing, intervallic soloing really quickly and with great understanding, very simply. So make sure you check that on Patreon below. Catch you next time.